So, it's been a mad one this morning, hasn't it? Oh, I've had to just add it up to here this morning. We've had walking the dogs. And we have a sandwich. Got a sandwich in the back of the car. Kids have been swimming. And now it's off to take them to do a rehearsal for their show today. Yay! So let's get going. Off to Elgin we go. Let's go. And we're in the small car today. Uh, Quite my. surprising. It's actually fairly clean, guys. Well, do you know what? It was fairly clean. No, it wasn't fairly clean. It was clean and it was organised. I had all my work stuff in the boot, ready for what children I had, all laid out, ready for children for different days of the week. Someone used my car and completely emptied my boot. Yeah, well, I needed to use the boot. Have they put everything back in the boot for me for work tomorrow? No. Are they going to get that done before tomorrow morning? Is that my problem, guys? Yes, exactly. you emptied it. It was all <laughs> Go organized. on, then. Off we go. Tell him off, guys. He's no. ruined my organisational level. It's the big car. No, it's the small car. Right. Off to Elgin we go. So that's the two sausages dropped off, isn't it? Yes. Thank goodness. And now it's me, James. No, it's me, not. Me, James. Me, George and Mummy. So where do you want to go, George? The monument bit over there. Yeah, speak up. The monument bit over there. Shall we go and have a look at the monument in Elgin? We've always passed it in the car. Do you know what it's called? We've never actually monument. looked at it. No. It's called Ladies Hill. Shall we go and have a look up at Ladies Hill then? <laughs> Come on. That sounds bad. It's a lovely day in Elgin and we're off for a wander now, aren't we? We are. We're going to go along the river and go and see. Oh, 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 oh. there you go. You can see it in the distance, actually. Sprouting above the buildings of Elgin. So we're going to go and have a little look about that, so we'll take you along. We're approaching it, aren't we, Ladies Hill? Yep, I but hope it is called that now. I'm sure it is. You can see it through the trees. But how do you get up there? You just climb up, um, you... up the hill. <laughs> yeah, shall we? Yeah. Get Mummy to climb up the yeah, hill. Is there yeah. a gap up oh, here? Oh, there's some steps. I, about. I can see something up here. Is there look. a gap in that wall yeah. there, I think? Let's have a look that's down here. Oh, there you go. There's a couple of steps on that wall. You climb up there and you go up the hill. Yeah. I think there's a break in the wall up here. Go on. Let's I go and have a look up here. That's what I was saying. There is a winding road that goes up there behind me. But that's, I think that's a safer option. But what if I just haul you up this wall, George, and you can run up there? Sure. Just go up there. Go bit high, isn't it? But yeah, so we're going to go and see what it's all about. Does anyone actually know what it's about? No. No, I don't either. Really. Island? Hey? Probably. What is it? I know. Oh, is it something to do... It's a battle that took place that way. OK. Oh, no, there's not a break in the wall. We're going to have a look anyway. Back in a sec. So we have found the path, or George found the path. Up there, and there she is. Well, it's a bloke by the looks of things on the top, actually, isn't it? I think it oh, is. Oh, here we go. There'd be a plaque up there, I'd have thought. It's the Duke of Gordon's monument. Duke it's not of... Ladies Hill. It is, it's on Ladies Hill. Oh. Duke of Gordon's oh. monument. Ooh. Yeah, you've got to run, 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 run. Get up there, boy. Yes. Oh. So we're going to get up here and we're going to have a little look. What was that, George? We need a video of Mum going up. We need a video of Mum going up that last bit, do we? It's going to be funny. There's Tracy still at the bottom of the hill, at the foot of the hill. Come on, Mum. Sorry, I'm just sorting out Emily and James's thingy my flodge. We can hear what you're saying, Mummy. What are you waffling on I about? Said, I wish I wore different shoes. Well, here she comes. Hey, Dad, I think you should... Oh, it's only there. I think you should have worn different shoes, Dad. I should have done, yeah. yeah. Should have had my walkers on, shouldn't I? Well, there's the famous Tesco's that we've been there a few times, haven't we? It's like, oh, oh dear. I never see that. Last one up's a rotten egg. Oh, I'll be a rotten egg. No, I need to record Mummy. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to record Mummy doing this bit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go on then, Mummy. Oh. Me and George just ran up it, haven't we, dude? Woo! 
Oh, oh, oh. Three. There's a bumblebee. One. Go. Tumble back. <laughs> And here we go. Now mum needs to Oh wow, look at that. We made it guys, didn't we? What was that? <coughs> Don't know, but if there is a bit more of a suitable path that I should imagine we'll take on the way back down. Oh, oh come on dad, I want to see oh. <laughs> What's this seat? The Elgin Burns seat. And look at this you guys. In 1787, oh. Scotland's Bard Robert Burns travelled through Elgin and admired the view of Elgin Cathedral. And there you go. Look at this view. So I'm going to show you a pack in a minute. This is actually remains of Elgin Castle. I never knew there was a castle in Elgin, but this was the remains. So we're going to see there's a plaque on the uh, statue, shall we? On the monument. I'm going to beat you there. It does light up at night as well, doesn't it? Does it? Oh yeah, you can see there's lights on the base of it. So as Trace said, yeah, it probably light up in the night time. Be quite a nice view. Oh, here we go. Here's some information then. The column. Unfortunately, guys, it's, it's a bit weathered. So you can't really read, it. read what it says, it. can you? See, George. I see George. Shall we have a look on Ah, the Duke of... Here you go. Is a, so, the Duke of Gordon. 25 metre tall column was built in 1839 as a tribute to the 5th Duke of Gordon. The statue of Duke himself was not added until 1855. Ah, so they built the column, then added the statue at the end. Tradition has it that on the stroke of midnight, the Duke descends from his column to have a drink from the nearby <gasps> Mary Well. Also, it says on here, inside the column, the column is actually hollow with a spiral staircase leading up to the shaft. Oh, so you can oh, actually go up wow. it. Oh, this is good. It's quite immense, isn't it? Back yeah. then, when they didn't have what we have now, and they did that. Jesus. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. What was that, Mummy? The monument was designed by an architect, William Byrne of Edinburgh. Well, there you go. I wonder if it's... Oh, no, he was Burns, wasn't he? Not Byrne. Yeah. yeah. Imagine, though, back in the day, guys, on a castle, looking over the lands. It's here. amazing, isn't it? It is. It's quite spectacular, yeah, no, actually. No, none of the cars. It'd be a heck of a view, wouldn't it? I tell you what. This morning, with everything that's going on, I felt quite stressed out. And I must say, just sitting here for a few minutes, having the wind and the view, oh, it sorted it's me a right out. stress, isn't it? It really <gasps> is. It's done its magic. Why is it so cold? <laughs> <laughs> you should have put your coat on, like you was told. Where? Um, Let's go and have a look at some of these other plaques. So, what do you think, guys? The walls of nowadays buildings are quite thin. Look at the size of these walls. How thick they are. That would weather quite an attack, don't you think? Could you break through, George? I didn't realise in history, Elgin was quite prominent. Was it? But yeah, well, yeah, this the... was the mighty Elgin Castle, apparently. Yes, it was. We're going to have a look at some plaques. But yeah, look at that, the size of them. Amazing, isn't it? How was that? Four, five foot, four foot wide? Probably more than that. Well, I'm five four. So yeah. Don't forget, it's still like there as well, isn't it? Oh, wow. quite an impressive wall. So here's some more notices then. It's a favoured royal residence. So obviously, yeah, we talked about that. It's the Elgin Castle. The central of, centre of royal power in the north of Scotland. Built by David the First. First, yeah, when he took control of the area in 1130. And that's what it used to look like. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Oh, look. Royal visitors enjoyed hunting in the Royal Forest of Elgin, Forres and Inverness. Hunting often with dogs was the privilege of the nobility. With the large number of red deer bones excavated here just shows what a prestigious site this was. 
There we go, and in 1296, during Scotland's War of Independence, the castle was occupied by the invading English the King, Edward I, and his huge army. Oh, wow. Scotland's royalty also hunted with hawks, and they paid their keepers in porridge. It's crazy. It's porridge? I'll be their keepers. <laughs> You like a bit of porridge, don't you? And we've got another one then. Yeah. Through the age, ages. Age. Mid 11th century, which is a farm, cluster of farmers' huts. Oh, look, Helen Cow. See the look, Helen Cow there. Located as it was a spine of land above the River Lossy, Elgin has always been strategically important. In 1040, the wary tro troops of King Duncan retreated to here after battling with Macbeth. Wow. Carrying with them their wounded king, then progressing to the 14th century, grew into a prosperous royal borough, at the heart of which was a major market held under the protection of the king and the church. And yeah, so the market square is over there where that spire is, isn't it? Yes. No, it's not. It's that, it's one, that there. one there. It's that spire there, yes. Yeah. So that's where the market town is, the spire over there. Late 17th century, the heart of England remained the market with the Muckle Kirk, St. Giles and the Tolbooth and bounded by fine stone built houses. We can see maybe yonder and I bet you some of these are still standing from those days. Oh yeah, they are. Some lovely towns in the centre of Elgin actually. Towns, I mean buildings. Good. And there we go then. So that was. Have we looked at this? Oh no, we haven't. There's something else to look at. What's that? What's this then? The Lady Hill Toposcope. Gifted to the people of Elgin and the Elgin by the Elgin Fund in 2010. Quite hard to read that, right? To be fair. And it gives you a map. City and Royal Bird 2010. Then we've got Inverness. And that's here, that's us here, isn't it? Ladies Hill, Duke, Duke of Gordon's, Gordon's Monument. Monument. And the Elgin Castle, Castle, yeah, and you've got Spiny Palace, we'll try and get there one day. That, nice. we walked near there the other day, actually. Yeah. We walked in there and Polly got lost. And yeah. this is my favourite part of the uh, area. Murray Malt Whiskey Country. Who likes a whiskey? Yes. And look guys, you can never get away from vandals. Terrible, isn't it? It is. Absolutely, ugh, honestly. What do you have to say about that? It's disgusting. <laughs> Just and annoying, that that. isn't it? Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's just a little bit of uh, history of Elgin. I thought we were, while we were here waiting for the yeah. other two, we might have a little bimble about and have a look. We've lived here a few years now and never been up there. Two so years. Two years now. And yeah, a much easier. Yeah. Much path. more mummy proof. <laughs> yeah, oh. but like George said, it would have been good filming Mummy Go Down That Hill, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tumbling down. Oh, we've got something else down at the bottom. Let's go and have a look. Well, this is a big goblet or something by the looks of things. And there you have it. And there's another plaque. Mm. Castle on the hill. This natural hillock is where the story of Elgin begins and where King Duncan I died after a bruising encounter with Macbeth. Wow. Yeah, can you see the... Yeah. That's this. And it's Shakespeare's famous tragedy, King Duncan is murdered while staying at Macbeth's castle in Inverness. In reality, the King Macbeth, a powerful local earl, clashed in the Battle of Pitgaveney, a few miles north of here in 1040. The wounded Duncan was carried to the castle on Lady Hill, where he later died. There you go. I used to love Macbeth when I was younger. Oh, so the next stop then, prosperity and riches. Surrounded by rich agricultural land, Elgin was important and wealthy town by the late 1300s. And there you go, so that's where we are now. That's where we were. Yeah, and that's Ladies Hill. Can you see it? Can you see it? And then there's another statue over there. Who is that statue then? Is that Duncan? Should we go and have a look? King Duncan, is it? So what is it, Trace? <laughs> I knew you'd do that because we're not sure on how to pronounce it. It's uh, a deception of the 14th century Earl of Butchen, Alexandra Stuart, in a standing pose with a sword held 
high beneath an arch. And there you go. And that was put there in 2016. So this guy actually came in and attacked Forres and Elgin, didn't he? Yeah. Spectacular display of violence climated with the dramatic burning of Elgin Cathedral. So he came in and destroyed Elgin. That's funny, isn't it? They've Beat him! That statue of him here. <laughs> it is actually, yeah. But then it's history, so... Yeah. You still have to... You do. ...know what's happened and the ins and outs of these things. Of the things. Look at this, so... You see how and old it is? Still got an old fire lantern, do you reckon? They put yeah. fire in that. And look up there. And then we got some symbols up there. I can't really see them. Then we got some old walls that you can see that obviously this used to be a walk through. Yeah. Should we go through it? Yeah, there's lots of these lovely ones to walk through actually with original things. And now we're in the market square, isn't it, George? And it's so quiet on a Sunday, eh? Oh, what's all this? Unfortunately, a lot of this, it's really hard to read. It gets the weathered, Royal... doesn't it? Well, the Royal Borough of Elgin. And it's showing you, accepting all of the different things that they've done. Elgin High Street. Quite cool, isn't it? And then we've got a lovely fountain. The Heart of Murray. In the heart of Elgin for over 700 years. This was and is where people came to buy, to sell, and to exchange news, to celebrate, and simply watch the world go by. This is where the market still used to be in old time Elgin. I think they still have one now, actually, don't they? Time. Time of change. There was a new energy in Elgin in the early 19th century. Many of the medieval structures in the town centre were demolished and replaced by stone houses and large public buildings. And probably some of these, or well, all of them, are probably standing still today, aren't they, George? Right, cool. And then what's this last one? Then we'll have a look at this one. This monument has been erected to commemorate the glorious dead belonging to the city and parish of Elgin who gave their lives in the Great War of 1914 to 1919. And there you go, and obviously that's where they lay the reason. Right, it's time to go back now, isn't it? Time to go back. Why? Who's here? <laughs> Not to stay in Elgin all day. No, no, thank you. Oh, is that you over there, George? What's this strange looking figure? It's a lion. With a mermaid tail. A mermaid tail and lion, eh? It's almost like a sea lion. <laughs> Dandy lion. <laughs> he is dressed in his best estate tweeds and fine cashmere cardigan from Johnston's Mill, founded on the banks of the River Lossie in 1797. So he was found on the River Lossie? So last but no means least, his name and persona from the Feeing Marts were in springtime men and women looking for agricultural work would carry a dandelion of which he wears in his buttonhole. Oh, yeah. And there you go, you can see the dandelion. So we're off, off to the performance, aren't we guys? Yeah, it's very exciting. I'm so nervous for them. Hopefully we can get a little bit of uh, footage. footage, but you're not allowed to normally. But... No, hopefully. I'm, I just can't do it because I'm normally so absorbed by watching them that I just I'll can't. Be, I might be a sneaky beaky. Sneaky, sneaky. But yeah, they'll be amazing because they've put in so much hard work. So Let's go. Off we go. Off to Elgin Town Hall. Bye bye. What do we do, George? Clean, clean, clean. Yes, that's what we do. Guess what I've been doing for the uh, afternoon while clean. Tracy's been gallivanting around Galavanting. Elgin. I've been ironing. Right, stop the right past. there. Stop for right the past. There. How long has it been? Dad, Two you hours? Said, you said you didn't want to walk around Elgin. Hold, no, 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 let's just stop this. Tracy was up at 7.30, yes. getting ready to take two children to swim squad. Fair enough, you got up in a bit and you walked the dogs. Yep. Then we met back at home, I picked you up, and then we took Emily and James to another rehearsal, which, may I add, I've been running around, dropping them here, there and everywhere for rehearsals for the past three days, everywhere, and then, we went up Ladies Hill, did a little bit doofering around there. I then dropped them home. I Which then I started to iron. 
got in the car, went and picked Emily and James up again to, so I could take them for a little bit of lunch. In that time, I then ran to the tip, did a massive tip load out of this car, which was full to the brim, it took them back to rehearsals, sorted out Emily's hair for the show, came back, quickly whipped up a shepherd's pie, all homemade, may I add, hey, put the wait. washing away, just had a quick shower, and here I am. So I haven't been gallivanting <laughs> at all, <laughs> may I add. More stuff than you. Thank you, No George. way. I mean... You've ironed today, Benj. That's yes, it. all day. You've ironed for two hours. He just cleaned his car. He just wiped the yes, exactly. dashboard yeah. down. Just cleaned you as well. need to put the stuff back in my boot when we get home too. I've already that. done have that. Have you done it? Of course I uh, have. Everything? Yes. Laptop yeah. bag? No, I didn't put that in. Of course I did. did. Did you actually? Yes. My laptop bag is in the car. What? Whatever was in that boot is back in the boot. Oh, listen to him. Did he get narky? Right. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. Guys, we're in the hall. This is where the acts are going to be performed. Oh, look at Emily with her hair, guys. Come here. Show me your costumes. Look at the hair. <laughs> right then, guys. Show yesterday. Mm. Back to school. Amazing. Today. <sighs> Amazing. <laughs> We're just having meatballs and sketty, aren't we? And, uh, Emily's favourite dinner. Garlic bread. I've been football and circus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you've had your clubs, haven't you? Busy yeah, all so days. I've managed. All back today. to normal. It is, yeah. Mm. So we'll just say the show was very good yesterday. Oh, wasn't it was it? fantastic. It was Did so Did you enjoy lovely. doing it, guys? Yep. I'm doing the next one. You're doing the next one. Next one's in 10 weeks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'll go out and do that. No, it's no, ten. ten. And then you go into P6. Did but you get any footage no, to put in there? There is a little bit that you've seen. Oh, not, no, not of them doing anything. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I got S1. Um, but, yeah, it was lovely. It's a really lovely show. And they do shows all the time. It's They're part of a group called Lossy Entertainments Academy. I'm going to start ballet. And you are. Oh, you want yeah, to start you the ballet start class, ballet, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, another club. Because one yeah. of my friends. Yeah, you want to do it with your friend, don't you? Give it a try. Like and subscribe! <laughs> oh, Bye for now.